Hi guys, I'm Re. welcome back to my channel. If you are new, babe, hit the subscribe button because you're gonna wanna stay. If you're returning, hey besties, it's so good to see you guys again. Today, I'm taking myself out on a date, okay? I'm not ashamed. If you guys have been following me long enough, you guys know that I'm in my season of singleness and I wanna serve my season of singleness well, but lately, okay, I have just been feeling this loneliness that I'm really not used to experiencing. I pride myself on being a very independent person. I prefer to be alone and for my 28 years of life alone has always been a good thing but lately that lonely feeling is not sitting right with my spirit and so i'm on spring break right now and i planned absolutely nothing because as you guys know i'm relocating and i just wanted to make sure that all of my stuff was together financially so i didn't plan a big trip but now i'm here and i have nothing to do so today i'm taking myself out on a little mini day date doing the things that i would want to do with my future husband when the lord sends him to me um but right now it's just me so today that's what we're doing this is kind of weird to territory for me because I've never been not content in my season of singleness like I've always wanted to have somebody with me but I also felt like I was doing okay but recently it's just been like everybody around me is just flourishing in their relationships or getting into these new beautiful relationships and getting married and engaged and I'm just like okay lord I know it's your timing and not mine but lately I've just been finding myself in this like really weird headspace and just feeling lonely and I don't like that so today I'm just gonna take myself out I don't really have too much planned I know that I'm going to Wonder Spaces because I've been dying to go since I moved to Philly and nobody's ever wanted to go so I'm just going by myself what people won't do for you you can do for yourself and that's what I'm doing so I'm gonna go get some Starbucks really quick get some coffee in my system and then we're gonna head over to Wonder Spaces and then we'll figure out where the rest of the day takes us but whatever I want to do I'm gonna do My real reasoning for doing this is just to find contentment in doing things by myself or not to find contentment but to be more comfortable i like to be in my own space but there are just some times where you want to experience things with someone else whether it's a romantic relationship or whether it's a friendship i like to do things with other people and i find that the older i get the more nervous like i become so social anxiety kind of just like really makes me do things by myself and i don't mind that but today i really wanted to go and be comfortable going somewhere and being by myself the entire time and i was actually comfortable in there i really wasn't missing anything any company like it was just really nice to take that time and spend it with myself i got a lot of good content in there too like pictures and stuff too which was nice but also just being in the moment that was a really good experience i'm really glad that i went because i've been wanting to to go since I moved to Philly three years ago and literally nobody would go with me or they would like have plans and like go with somebody else and like cool great whatever but today I did that for me and it feels really good to do something for myself sometimes I feel a little bit guilty or selfish for pouring into myself choosing myself but I think that's very necessary you do need to pour into yourself you do need to give yourself that time I even spent a little extra time this morning getting myself together I washed my hair this morning I spent more than 12 minutes doing my makeup I didn't have to rush I just had a slow easy morning and it's is just a day about read. I'm a little bit hungry so I need to figure out if I want like breakfast food. I think I might go like the brunch 
lunch lunch route right now and then i kind of want to see john wick today so i think i'm gonna see john wick four and i'm gonna go by myself because it's okay to do things by ourselves i just think it's really important that you have an identity in yourself and you're comfortable and firm enough in yourself before you get into a relationship that way when it comes time to being in a relationship you know who you are you know that you can enjoy yourself you know that you could do anything with or without your partner being around you that is just something that i am really challenging myself to be so brunch first and then we'll see where the day takes us is finished it was honestly so good the salad was really really good too but really all i wanted was the potatoes and they did not disappoint we're gonna go to the park now and just do some like bible study slash journaling when i was eating my brunch i was looking up some scriptures just to kind of help me i guess i was just looking for some scriptures to stand on during this time in my life serving my season of singleness well but i'm also desiring to be married to my kingdom spouse so i found a few that i want to kind of journal about so that's what we're going to do and i'll share them with you and and then we're going to the movies. I gotta get snacks though. I'm not spending like $30 on a freaking Kit Kat bar. We're not doing that. So I'll have to stop in between Bible study and the movie theater to get some snacks. I guess this is my opportunity to get some chocolate. It's been a good day so far. Eating brunch by myself is not something that I do often, but I wasn't like uncomfortable it was just me they were like <laughs> i feel like today it's really hitting a little bit different because everywhere i go there are like all these couples everywhere there was a couple sitting in front of me in the table in front of me and he was singing to her lord i see what you're doing for others he was singing to her serenading her and i was just like okay i was like reading my notes um on job just because i'm like trying to like go through all my reflection questions i'm studying the book of job right now for those of you guys that don't know and i was just going through the reflection questions just to like you know continue my studies but yeah there were just all these cute little couples even at um wonder spaces today there were these cute couples getting cute couple pictures and like they were filming for each other and taking pictures of each other and i was like Rihanna, you know what's crazy is that you're here and you're doing all that by yourself so it doesn't even matter. Find contentment here, sis. God will give you the desires of your heart. Just lean into him and focus on him. Even though that's not the easiest thing to do, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's one of the hardest things for me. This should be the easiest thing, but it's one of the hardest things waiting on his timing back. He's never late. He's rarely early, but always perfectly on time to him. <laughs> Because sometimes I don't be seeing it, but he's still good regardless. So the scripture I decided to look into today comes from Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 and 23. And it reads, but the fruit of the spirit, the result of his presence within us is love, unselfish concern for others, joy, inner peace, patience, not the ability to wait, but how we act while waiting. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there is no law. The real reason I chose this scripture was because the last part, when it talks about not the ability to be patient, but what is your heart posture? What is your mindset when you are waiting? I don't know about any of you guys, but I feel like these last couple of months, I have really had to work on my heart posture in my season of singleness because I was so focused on all of the things that I felt like I was missing out on, all of the things that I was being deprived of, when I really should have been looking at all of the blessings that come with your season of singleness, being able to devote as much time to my relationship with Christ, learning things about myself, learning self-control, being disciplined. Those are things that are huge and when you focus on the storm you miss all of the things that you are actually being blessed with so instead of waiting with a negative spirit and just being a spoiled brat because that's what I feel like I was being I should be grateful that I've had all of this time to be able to devote to God and truly just appreciate this time that I've had to learn God because I don't know about you but when I get into a relationship I don't want to have to learn God and his word and another person that seems a bit challenging why not learn who Jesus is now and what God's word says 
says now so that when temptation arises, when problems arise, I know exactly where to go to, who to go to in my time of trouble or gray area. I just feel like I should be equipping myself during this time. So I just wanted to share. We are going to get some movie theater snacks. Movie theater is literally right down the street and it's like 2.45. My movie starts at 3.15. So I've got about 30 minutes and I know that traffic out here, or not traffic, parking out here is like not the greatest. So it's gonna take me a couple of minutes unless there's like a parking garage that I can actually park in, but we're going to CBS. This is what I'll do, I'll do. so good if you like the first three john wick movies you guys will love this one so freaking good i'm baffled i can't believe they did my man bill scars guard like that though i'm sorry i'm not gonna give you any spoilers or anything but come on bill anyways okay so today has been very eventful it's 6 30 right now i had to pee so bad at the end of the movie that i could barely focus like i was like running and waddling at the same time to get to a bathroom but basically this is gonna conclude this little day date because i'm gonna go home clean up a little bit and then I'm going to bed. I just ate a bunch of snacks in the movie theater so now I have to make sure that I get to the gym tomorrow because I definitely didn't work out today. But I just wanted to share that if you guys have reservations about doing things on your own or you feel out of place or you feel like the desire to find your kingdom spouse is just becoming so unbearable like how I have felt these last couple of weeks, it's okay. God knows how you feel. He place those desires in your heart. And one thing that I'll encourage you to do is not to get so frustrated that you pray that God remove those desires, right? Mm -mm, he placed them there. We're just gonna ask that the Lord would manage the desires so that we can, you know, become one with him and build an identity in him so that we are whole by the time we get to our kingdom spouse. But also we're still hopeful for the relationship that we've been praying for. I know, I know it is not easy. It is not always comfortable. I literally just spent the last like 12 hours pouring into myself, going places, filming in places that realistically, okay, filming makes it a little bit more challenging because now you're just super uncomfortable because everybody's watching but I did it I'm still here and honestly it allowed me to just spend time with myself to really see what I like and not be so focused on if the man that God has for me will like me or if any distraction that has been thrown my way if they like me right like it's more of like do I like me and if there are certain areas of me that I don't like this is the time to fix them so just keep going stay prayerful I'm touching and agreeing with all of you and I'm keeping each and every one of you prayed up not even just for my single sisters in Christ but my brothers in Christ too I know you guys go through the same thing so so just know that here in this moment, I touch and agree with you that the Lord is going to deliver. He's going to manage your desire and that he will deliver that spouse to you in his perfect timing. So I'm gonna leave you off with this. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, I wanna see more like little day dates and how we deal with our season of singleness. Definitely let me know down below in the comment section. Also be sure to turn on your post notifications. That way you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video. And until next time, babes, I'll see you on my next. Mm -hmm.